Let's get into this. I got this off of Etsy. I can appreciate this liquid. Super cute. We've got the DIY breast milk lotion kit. Yes. And the soap kit. Okay, so the soap kit, shea butter, soap face. This is a cute little size bag. I don't know, I'm impressed with the small things. Okay, I was thinking that these were gonna be plastic, but they are silicone and it says 100% handmade. There's three soap molds. There's a wooden mixing spoon. And then I got the fresh ground oats. I'm only gonna put the, the ground oats inside of one. That's gonna be for me um, and not the baby. Or maybe I'll put it in two and leave it out of one just to kind of like be sure. And then it comes with the directions as well. And some tips, so we love that. Let's move that over here to the side. That's what comes with a little thank you card in there. On to the, oh, it actually tells you what's included on the back, so you can check, make sure that you're not missing anything that you might have needed. We've got this 100% pure beeswax, beeswax, locally sourced, some vitamin E oil. Let's get that in there. Um, two different labels to put on the sticker, I mean to put two sticker labels to put on the jar. So you can just put the expiration date on there as you see fit. And then it's got some pure grapeseed oil as the base. I can see it's already labeled. And it's already pre-measured exactly what you need yes along with the direction so they had a little deal oh here's a um it's called a doppler i'm not sure what this thing is called you just make a little squeegee and then the direction so okay so i got all my things i got my mold sitting out i put them on a plate so that when i transfer them into the fridge i can just pick them up but i'm moving them around too much got my mixing bowl you see the supplies we're working with now let's get into it. I'm going to pour all of the... There's really no need to stir it around. But I'm going to pour all of this in. And per the directions, pour soap base into microwave safe bowl. Microwave in 10 second increments. Stirring in between with the wooden spoon provided. So 10 seconds. Let me pop this in. How it looks after the first 10 seconds. I'm just gonna stir it a little bit and pop it back in. This time I stopped it at eight seconds and there was a bit of chunks left in it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and now I got my ground oats. I finally got the lump out. I'm gonna go ahead and add those ground oats. Stir. And this consistency, I haven't felt the inside, but it looks kind of like glue, a little bit more watery. I don't know. Okay, so it calls for two ounces of fresh breast milk, and this is just freshly pumped. Let's see, add exactly two ounces of room temp breast milk. Stir gently for 10 seconds or until completely mixed. So, alrighty. Stir it up. Um, let's see. Careful not to make bubbles. Uh-oh. I definitely already have bubbles in here. Hmm. <laughs> so now I'm wondering, how do I get the bubbles? So I'm just scooping. It's getting a little messy, but I'm trying to move quick to get the rest of these oats in there. And I am actually finding, I found two little lumps that look like this of the soap. Um, so I'm hoping that that's not too big of a problem. I thought that it was mixed well, but hey, we'll see. As you can see, we've got some bubbles, but these are mostly going to be on the bottom of the soap bar. So, let me see, can I pop it? <laughs> no, that didn't really work. So here's what they look like after 30 minutes. You can kind of see 
from right there that is firming up. It's not liquid. I tried to go in and pop the, um, as you can see, it's firming up. I tried to pop the um, bubbles, and so I just ended up leaving them. This one looks popped, but it's still just like half a bubble. So I'm going to pop them into the fridge for an hour, and then once I take them out the mold, I'll show you. And here we have it, 100% handmade. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so they're really smooth. I just took them out the refrigerator, so they're kind of glossy. Um, here's the bubbles that I was talking about, but I'm not mad at that. That'll be gone after first use. They look really milky. They look creamy. I'm here for this. Okay, getting into this lotion. I've got my mixing bowl. Here's the grapeseed oil. All right. Into the oil. Boom, got all of it. Microwave in 30 second increments, stirring briefly in between. And I'm not gonna add the breast milk in there yet. So I'm just gonna pop this in for 30 seconds and then we'll we'll check in after that. The direction suggests a minute and 30 seconds, but not to overheat. So all of mine just um, dissolved in, melted after one minute. Um, so we were 30 seconds early, got the vitamin E oil. Hmm, okay, it's got this little that's a neat little little spout on there. Okay, so that's why it comes with, uh, it's called a pipette. Oh, the pipette <laughs> is not working that great. Come on, pipette. Let's see. Okay, so that's not working the greatest. So I'm gonna try to just pull this out, pull that little spout out, and just go ahead and dump the vitamin E in there. Mix in vitamin E. We're not using any essential oils, but if you were going to, you would put them in right now. Um, okay, and then add the three and a half ounces, freshly pumped. You can use frozen milk that's thawed um but i'm gonna go ahead and use fresh just making sure i get all of that good stuff vitamin e oil out of there i want it all 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 every drop counts okay three and a half ounces Um, let me just make sure because I don't want no bubbles or no weird stuff going on. Um, add the three and a half ounces of room temp breast milk and whisk vigorously for 15 to 30 seconds until it starts to thicken. Okay, so I think that it should be fine in this bowl. I don't want to bother transferring it. Um, I'm just kind of letting it cool a little bit too because I know that it, it says on the back um if the breast milk seems to separate it may be that the oils were too warm when it was mixed so i just want to kind of alleviate that from the jump and not mix it when it's too warm okay so i'm just gonna go ahead in there got him Okay, so it says 15 to 30 seconds or until it begins to thicken. 
and it's a lotion consistency. So, baby, this looks good. <laughs> and if I was using it just for me, I would add some scent. But this is going to be primarily for baby. And I will go. I am going to use it myself, though, as well. I just want to make sure it's good because I don't have time for no separation. Okay. This looks good. Um, it looks like it looks like lotion. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like let it thicken up, whisk it a few more times, and then go ahead and pour it into the container that came with. It. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it up. I'm like, is it just me or this is making me want to bake a cake because it looks good. I can't lie. But like just knowing what the ingredients are, I am so excited to get into this i'm gonna be lathering this on myself i'm putting it on my boyfriend okay everybody is getting some of this goodness the baby's gonna be covered in this talk about moisturized okay so i'm trying my best to get it to be not too messy. Now, personally, I like lotion that has like a spout. Um, I don't normally like to be like digging my nails into like a jar like this. Um, so I'm really kind of hoping that it'll thicken up. But I feel like it probably will once the oils harden and then um, kind of as they heat up again, like similar to like a, a shea butter or coconut oil or something like that. That's what I'm hoping for because I, I really don't like touching stuff that's too messy in this type of container, but we'll see. It'll be worth it. Baby, hey, I'm scraping corners. You know we want it all. Okay, so I got my napkin here. I've been wiping off water with. And here's the lid. It's done done. I'm gonna use some now. Ooh, some got on my finger. Look at that. And it feels, they said it does kind of feel greasy, but it goes away within a minute of being rubbed in. But I, I like it. I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. And so there we have it. Also, you do need to store both the products in the refrigerator. And so, yeah, duh. Once it's in the refrigerator, of course, it's gonna harden up. And once we're all done, I'll show you what it's looking like.